She'll be the biggest female star ever because she can pull up from the parking lot. She is a killer. She is stone cold. Caitlin, man, she's a phenomenon. She's the best female collegiate player ever. She's the most prolific scorer in the history of college basketball. Kobe Bryant with a ponytail. It is just awesome watching what she is doing and what she represents. Looking. Here's Clark. She fires. And goes! She hit it! Caitlin Clark's rise in the WNBA has everyone talking, but not everyone is thrilled. WNBA legend Cheryl Swoops, widely regarded as one of the game's greatest players, has voiced harsh opinions about Clark throughout the season. But here's the kicker. It's not just about Clark's basketball skills anymore. Swoops' criticism seems deeply personal, almost as if Clark's sudden rise to stardom is threatening the very legacy that Swoops and other WNBA pioneers worked so hard to build. The question is, what's really driving this tension? Is it Clark's undeniable talent, or is it about something much deeper, the changing face of the WNBA? Let's break it down. Caitlin Clark has become an unstoppable force in the WNBA. In her rookie season, she's already shattered records led her team to unprecedented success and captivated audiences with her unique style of play. Whether it's her long-range shooting, court vision, or leadership on the floor, Clark has undeniably made her mark. But as her stardom grows, so does the criticism, particularly from WNBA legends like Cheryl Swoops. From the start, Swoops made it clear she didn't believe Clark's game would translate well to the WNBA. She questioned her shooting, her defense, and even her ability to handle the pressure of professional play. Yet as the season has unfolded, Clark has exceeded all expectations. She's not just playing well, she's redefining what it means to be a rookie in the WNBA. Caitlin Clark's first month in the WNBA has been eventful to say the least, but it's also been productive. Today, Clark was named the WNBA's Rookie of the Month for May. The former but here's where things get interesting. Swoops hasn't backed down. Instead of acknowledging Clark's success, she's doubled down on her criticism, saying that Clark benefits from the media hype more than her actual skills. And it's not just a casual critique. I'm taking my job. Like, nah, it's not gonna be that easy. So will Caitlin Clark be a good pro? Absolutely. Will Caitlin Clark come into the WNBA and do what she's doing right now? Immediately? Absolutely not. Not gonna happen. Swoops has openly questioned whether Clark deserves the attention she's getting from outlets like ESPN, which have been covering her meteoric rise in depth. ESPN has featured Clark in numerous special segments, and her games have consistently drawn the highest ratings of the season. That kind of spotlight is hard to ignore. But instead of celebrating this newfound attention on the WNBA, Swoops seems to resent it. So what's really going on here? Is Swoops threatened by Clark's growing influence, or is it simply a case of jealousy? Let's not forget, Swoops is a WNBA icon. She paved the way for players like Clark, but now it seems like she's unwilling to share the stage. And the media's role in all this can't be overlooked. ESPN's heavy promotion of Clark has undeniably elevated her profile, but it's also created tension within the WNBA. Caitlin was, you know, 25 years old. She was, uh, however old, 24 years old. She was a 50-year senior. Right. She was taking 40 shots a game. Her records were illegitimate. And I, I got off the treadmill and I called her as a friend. And I said, you know, you can say whatever you want. You can have your own opinion about anybody, but you do have to get the statistics right. I mean, facts matter. And if you just get ahead of this and just say, hey, I made a mistake on my numbers, then this thing is over and everybody respects you for your opinion. And, you know, you might like Boston. I might like the Yankees. You know, it's OK to have difference of opinions. Well, she, she got upset with me on the phone and I was like, Cheryl, you know, I'm not doing anything to hurt you. I'm just sharing. We're, we're talking. Some players and former legends feel overshadowed by the constant focus on Clark, and Swoops has been one of the most vocal critics. In fact, her most recent comments have sparked a firestorm of debate in WNBA circles. She even went as far as to suggest that Clark's success is being overhyped, implying that the media is responsible for inflating her reputation. And then there's Stephen A. Smith. As one of the loudest voices in sports commentary, Stephen A. hasn't been shy about defending Caitlin Clark. He's praised her ability to bring new fans to the WNBA. And in a recent segment, he even called out Cheryl Swoops by name. Open, but I'm gonna mention it now, and that's Caitlin Clark herself of the WNBA. Let's get to the WNBA and this sensational rookie from the Indiana Fever who continues to be box office. Clark and the Fever currently lead the WNBA in average game attendance and per game TV viewership. 
but despite the attendance and viewership records, there seems to be some haterade in the league in regards to Clark starting with WNBA legend Cheryl Swoops herself. She recently spoke on her podcast, Queens of the Court. According to Smith, Swoop's criticism of Clark isn't based on facts, but on personal bias. He pointed out that Clark has been responsible for a significant increase in WNBA viewership, especially among younger audiences. The numbers don't lie. Clark's presence in the league is driving higher ratings, more ticket sales, and a renewed interest in women's basketball. Stephen A. didn't mince words saying that Swoops should be celebrating Clark's impact, not trying to tear her down. But this rivalry isn't just between Caitlin Clark and Cheryl Swoops. It's part of a larger generational divide within the WNBA. As the league evolves, younger players like Clark are bringing in new fans, new energy, and a fresh style of play. Meanwhile, the legends of the past, players like Swoops, are finding it harder to accept the changing landscape of women's basketball. This isn't the first time we've seen this kind of tension in sports. As new stars emerge, there's always a sense of the old guard feeling left behind, and that's what makes the situation so fascinating. Swoops isn't just criticizing Clark's game, she's reacting to a shift in the WNBA's identity. Now let's talk about the Rookie of the Year race, which has only added fuel to this rivalry. Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese are neck and neck in the battle for this coveted title. Eight assists, 15 points in the first half, looking to add to her tally. Ooh, look out. And Cheryl Swoops hasn't been shy about where her loyalties lie. She's made it clear that she supports Angel Reese. Oh, I want to give my flowers to Cheryl Swoops. Ooh. And I think I'm, I'm really giving her my, her flowers because she's gotten her flowers, but I think she needs to be reminded that. Arguing that Reese is the more complete player, but the stats tell a different story. Caitlin Clark is breaking records at an alarming rate, whether it's assists, points, or shooting percentages. She's been setting new benchmarks for what a rookie can achieve. And as her individual accomplishments pile up, so do the wins for her team. Clark has been instrumental in leading the Indiana Fever to one of their best seasons in recent history. Swoops' dismissal of Clark's success feels increasingly personal, especially when you consider how vocal she's been about supporting Reese. Is this about lifting up another player, or is it about keeping Caitlin Clark in check? Fans and analysts alike have started to notice the pattern. It's not just about basketball anymore, it's about a legacy. Swoops, once the face of the WNBA, now seems determined to downplay the rise of a new star. But Clark's numbers speak for themselves. She's redefining what it means to be a rookie in the WNBA, and no amount of criticism can change that. And then, there's the future of the WNBA itself. Caitlin Clark represents more than just an individual player. She's a symbol of the league's potential. Her ability to attract new fans, especially from younger generations, is vital to the growth of women's basketball. But as Clark's influence grows, so do the questions. Can the WNBA legends of the past adapt to this new era, or will they continue to resist the change? Cheryl Swoops has already made her stance clear, but what about the rest of the league? Will they embrace Clark's success and the media attention she brings, or will they too feel threatened by the shift in focus. The tension between the past and present in the WNBA isn't going away anytime soon. Caitlin Clark's continued rise is inevitable, but the resistance she faces from players like Cheryl Swoops shows just how difficult it is to change the status quo. But here's the real question. Will WNBA legends like Swoops ever fully accept Caitlin Clark and the new generation of players, or will this rivalry continue to fuel controversy within the league? As Clark continues to break records, draw massive crowds, and dominate headlines, the tension is only going to rise. And with the Rookie of the Year race heating up between her and Angel Reese, the drama between Clark, Reese, and the WNBA's past greats is far from over. Clark, hammer, three sky players. The league is at a crossroads, and the question remains, will the WNBA's legends make peace with the new era of women's basketball, or will the shadow of jealousy and rivalry continue to cast a cloud over Caitlin Clark's incredible journey? One thing is certain, this story is far from over. Stay tuned, because as Caitlin Clark continues to rise, so too will the stakes for the future of the WNBA. How much more experience that gives you over other players coming in, right? So people say, dang, like he or she's killing them. But you have a 25-year-old playing against a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like, you, sh you should be killing them. Because yeah. you've been doing it a lot longer than they have. Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> Cheryl Swoops has been stirring up controversy in the WNBA, 
particularly with her critical comments about rising superstar Caitlin Clark. This season, Swoops has made no secret of her jealousy, but her latest actions have taken things to a whole new level. ESPN, the network that's been closely following Caitlin Clark's meteoric rise, has highlighted her impact on the WNBA numerous times, making Swoops' criticism even more surprising. Diamond DeShields recently made headlines in WNBA news for an aggressive play against Caitlin Clark, sparking intense debate among WNBA fans. Imagine this. DeShields intercepts Clark at half court during a key Indiana Fever game, not with just any foul, but with a clear, frustration-driven play. The fallout from this incident was immediate, with WNBA analysts and fans calling it out as a dirty play. Against Caitlin Clark, it wasn't okay. It was a flagrant foul. Igniting a firestorm of controversy. The aftermath of Diamond DeShields' actions didn't stop at just criticism. DeShields faced a barrage of backlash, including receiving racist threats. Uh, Diamond DeShields received racist threats after Caitlin Clark flagrant, flagrant foul. Which highlighted ongoing issues within the WNBA community. But amid this storm, Cheryl Swoops stood out as a vocal supporter of DeShields, continuing her narrative against Caitlin Clark. Swoops tweeted, Head up, kid. Hate will not win. You are covered, and there's nothing these evil people can do about that. All love for you. This tweet, while supportive of DeShields, had significant consequences for Swoops, leading to her removal from the WNBA broadcast team for the highly anticipated Fever vs. Dallas Wings game, a pivotal WNBA matchup. When questioned by WNBA fans who were eager to hear her commentary, Swoops didn't hold back, responding with the now famous phrase, not today, Satan. But let's be honest, supporting WNBA players who engage in potentially dangerous, career-threatening actions isn't a good look for a WNBA legend like Swoops. This incident isn't isolated. It's just the latest in a series of actions that suggests jealousy and resentment towards Caitlin Clark, one of the most talked about players in women's basketball today. Stephen A. Smith, a well-known sports commentator frequently featured on ESPN, has consistently defended Caitlin Clark and this time was no different. Smith didn't hesitate to call out Cheryl Swoops for her biased and baseless criticism of Clark. Cheryl Swoops. No, 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 Caitlin Clark, no Caitlin Clark. Respectfully, Cheryl Swoops, you have any idea how that makes you look? You have any idea how that serves to stain any kind of critique of Caitlin Clark? The Caitlin Clark effect isn't just a buzzword. It's a real phenomenon in women's basketball, driving WNBA viewership and attendance to new heights. Caitlin Clark is redefining the game every time she steps onto the court, breaking WNBA records and setting new standards for what's possible in women's sports. But with greatness comes envy, and Swoops' actions seem to reflect the challenges that come with being a trailblazer like Caitlin Clark. The tension between Cheryl Swoops and Caitlin Clark goes back to Clark's college basketball days. Swoops openly questioned whether Clark's skills would translate to the WNBA, even suggesting that Angel Reese's game was better suited for professional play. Swoops confidently predicted that Clark wouldn't dominate the WNBA immediately. Like, no, nah, it's not gonna be that easy. So will Caitlin Clark be a good pro? Absolutely. Will Caitlin Clark come into the WNBA and do what she's doing right now. Immediately, absolutely not. Not gonna happen. Okay. But as we've seen, Caitlin Clark has exceeded all expectations, proving her doubters wrong at every turn. But Swoops didn't stop at questioning Clark's abilities. She also criticized Clark's NCRA scoring record, dismissing it as a result of volume shooting rather than skill. Going to break a record, to me, if it's legitimate, you have to break that record in the same amount of time that that player set it. Okay. So if, if Kelsey Plum set that record in four years, mm -hmm. well, Caitlin should have broke that record in four years. But because there's a COVID year, then there's another year, you know what I mean? So she's already had an extra year to break that record. So is it truly a broken record? Yeah, that'll go in the record books as Caitlin Clark is the all-time, whatever it is. I don't even know what the number is, but that's the way it'll be, and, and I don't think it should be. However, Swoops got several key facts wrong. 
She claimed that Caitlin Clark took advantage of an extra year of eligibility due to COVID-19, playing five years of college basketball. In reality, Clark played the standard four years, just like Kelsey Plum, the previous record holder. What's more, Caitlin broke the record in fewer games, showing that it wasn't just about taking more shots, but making them count. Swoops also exaggerated by stating that Caitlin Clark takes 40 shots per game, when in truth, Clark's average is closer to 19 shots per game, and perhaps the most glaring mistake, Swoops claim that Caitlin is 25 years old when she's actually just 22. How much more experience that gives you over other players coming in, right? So people say, dang, like he or she's killing them, but you have a 25-year-old playing against a 20-year-old. Mm -hmm. Like, you, sh you should be killing them. Yeah because you've been doing it a lot longer than they have. Clark right now probably takes about 40 shots a game. <laughs> mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> These inaccuracies have led many WNBA fans and analysts to question whether Swoops' criticism is based on facts or personal bias. What Cheryl Swoops fails to acknowledge is the monumental impact Caitlin Clark is having on women's basketball and the WNBA as a whole. Caitlin Clark is bringing more attention to the WNBA than ever before, inspiring a new generation of young female athletes and drawing in a wider audience to the league. Instead of uplifting the next generation of WNBA players, Swoops seems intent on undermining their success. But this isn't just about Caitlin, it's about the future of the WNBA. Supporting Caitlin Clark means supporting the growth and evolution of women's basketball. Despite the backlash, Cheryl Swoops eventually issued an apology, though many found it less than sincere. She defensively stated that black people can't be racist, a comment that did little to mend the situation. I, I'm going to say this, and then I want to like be done with this whole conversation. So for people to come at me and say that I made those comments because I'm a racist, like, first of all, black people can't be racist. Meanwhile, Caitlin Clark continues to break records in her rookie WNBA season, solidifying her place in the history of the WNBA. From holding the WNBA single game assist record to becoming the youngest player to achieve consecutive double doubles in points and assists, Caitlin's accomplishments are rewriting the WNBA record books. Yet Cheryl Swoops seems determined to ignore these achievements. It's becoming clear that this isn't just a case of casual criticism. It's starting to look like a personal vendetta and people are taking notice. Even Stephen A. Smith, known for his outspoken views on ESPN, couldn't stay silent. He publicly criticized Swoops for her blatant bias against Clark. Clark and the Fever currently lead the WNBA in average game attendance and per game TV viewership. But despite the attendance and viewership records, there seems to be some haterade in the league in regards to Clark starting with WNBA legend Cheryl Swoops herself. The statistics don't lie. Caitlin Clark is leading the Indiana Fever to new heights, with the team boasting the highest average game attendance and TV viewership in the WNBA. And yet, Swoops refuses to give Caitlin the credit she deserves. Instead, Cheryl Swoops continues to praise other Fever players like Lexi Hall, Kelsey Mitchell, and Aaliyah Boston, while conspicuously leaving Caitlin Clark out of the conversation. This Indiana team. I'm going to say shout out to Lexi Hull. I'm a big Lexi Hull fan. Absolutely. Watch her in AU. Lexi Hull shot the leather off the ball in their game against Seattle and just couldn't miss. Kelsey Mitchell is just broken. She is just shooting the basketball. Aaliyah Boston, almost a triple double. This omission is becoming increasingly difficult for WNBA fans to ignore especially as Caitlin continues to set new records and drive the success of the Indiana Fever. Swoops' refusal to acknowledge Clark's contributions is not only petty, but also damaging to her own reputation as a WNBA legend. And the criticism doesn't end there. Swoops went as far as to suggest that Caitlin's success is due to having better teammates at the Fever compared to Angel Reese's situation at the Chicago Sky. With Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese locked in a tight race for WNBA Rookie of the Year, Swoops' dismissal of Clark's talent is almost laughable. So, what's next in this unfolding drama? As Caitlin Clark continues to rise in the WNBA, will the league and its legends like Cheryl Swoops finally give her the recognition she deserves? 
Or will a shadow of jealousy continue to loom over her achievements? One thing is certain, this story is far from over.